Ooh. Kia ora, I'm Sean from 2040, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Doc AI thermal camera. Um, now, the first time you get it, you need to um, connect your phone to the camera. And the way we do this is you've got to set up a, a Wi-Fi network hotspot on your phone. Um, and it's got to have a particular name called Bushnet. And the way you do this, um, it's different on Android and iOS. But on iOS, you need to go into General About and, and give your phone the name Bushnet. And this is what the Wi-Fi network, that the, the hotspot that the phone sets up is called. Then you go back to your personal hotspot. It's got to be called, um, it has the password feathers. You turn it on. You want to hit this maximize compatibility button too if you've got that. And then um, your, your phone's got, the hot, got a hotspot called Bushnet with the password feathers. Now when we turn the camera on, which we'll just connect the power now and it'll boot up, the camera will look for that network called Bushnet and once it finds it, it will connect to it and you can then connect to the app, um, to the camera via the Sidekick app, which um, I'll open up now. Um, so this phone is showing a red light that's sort of slowly getting brighter. Once it connects to the um, to a Wi-Fi network, like the, this Bushnet one, the light will go green. You can see that's just gone green now. Um, and so we should, it can sometimes just take a minute for it to actually connect. Um, but in the, in the app, you can just then press the search button and the camera appears. So there we are, this one's called F58. Now the first thing that the Sidekick app does is it checks the location that's stored on the camera and compares that to its current location. If it's different, it'll, it'll give you this option to update the location on the camera. This is really important because every video is tagged with the location of where the camera is um, and you want that location to be accurate. So you, you click OK and it's successfully updated that location and it then will give you um, an option to take a photo and to give the location a name. Here I've already named this location, it's called our office and there's a picture that we've taken but you can update that picture by clicking that if you need to and then just hit the update button. I'll skip that for now. Um, so that's the location updated. Now, one of the things you need to do is uh, give, uh, rename the camera or assign it to a group. So you click on the little arrow, you then click on the advanced option here, and down this menu, there's a rename option. And here it shows the current camera's name, which is just the number of the camera, 58. You can change that if you want to, but I recommend keeping it the same so you know F58 just by looking at the front of the camera and by default it's in, the, in the, a group called new. Now you now want to assign it to a, um, a group that you've created on the Cacophony portal already um, which is the first thing it asks you to do when you sign up and here I've got one called 2040 tests that I'll rename this to and this, you then get this message saying that, that you've successfully renamed and that you need to reboot it. So you hit OK, and there's a little button called Reboot here that you then press for that to, um, the camera will then reboot and it will pop up in the, back in the Sidekick app with its new name once it's rebooted. Um, and this can just take a little while for this to happen. So there it's disappeared, I think, as the camera is rebooting. You have to check that your uh, hotspot stays on. Which it is. This can just take a little while.
No, stop, stop searching, let's try searching again. There we are. The camera's got to go through a booting process, so that takes a little while. Um, so the next thing I'll show you is how you can take a test video. So here, um, you can have a look at and see what the camera is seeing when you've set it up, um, when you've mounted the camera, by clicking on the camera. And this shows you, here we should see, be able to see the thermal image of me. Um, and there's an option here to take a test recording. So you hit take a test recording, smile, wave, wave around, and it just does a two second recording and it will upload it and you can confirm that that's uploaded and that you can view that on the Cacophony portal. And that's a complete test of the camera.